cut from? Did you, was there a point where you almost had to cut bait with, with Rice on his forehand? He seemed to kind of get his shoulder short a little bit. Yeah, he was he was exhausted. Yeah. He was exhausted. Um, I think a couple things. First of all, guarding Zach Bryant, wear you out. Second thing, interestingly, um, Bryce worked up a lather in, in pregame warmups. I mean, he was excited about playing in the arena. He wasn't even hitting the rim for two days last night, today. He and I, I honestly think he just didn't have a, he just didn't have a ton of energy out there. Now they did a really good job on him, but look, he still played 39 minutes and. Boy, at the end, it was it, it wasn't so much his offense as just he was exhausted from guarding. In the first half, it looked like you guys didn't have a much ball movement as you do sometimes. Try to change out the second half. You know, we we did ne we did not move the ball well, and um, we didn't get it side to side. Um, we had we had a ton of rebound fast break opportunities, and I didn't think we. We sprinted down there or advanced past the ball and uh, took advantage of, of the break. Ball was in Jared's hands way too much, walking him up the floor. And, and uh, look, UAB, does a, they do a really good job. They've got us as well scouted as them. They played us four times. I'm old. I still run the same stuff I've run at Tennessee. So they got it, and they do a good job defending it. Give them credit. What happened with Rob in the second half there? Just um, their bench was hollering at me. I was hollering at the officials. That's what I do. Do you guys have any sort of conversation afterwards? Did he say anything to you? No, it's okay. I mean, we, we both got a job to do. We both got to coach our teams. I was coaching my team. And yeah, it seemed like they had like a hype coach that was kind of yelling directly at you. It's unusual to see an assistant yelling at the head coach. Team. It's just part of the key to the battle. They were competing, and uh, we were competing. And, um, I, I know you like to say defense travels, but once UAB took that seven point lead midway through the second half, that defense there to kind of get back in the game, how big was that for you guys? I think it was huge, and I bet you Horace Spencer was on the floor during that defensive run. It just, you know, just, uh, and again, the, as far as the rhythm and the rotations, you know, um, Horace was going to lose some minutes with Dangel coming back. You got Anthony and Austin at the five. You got Schuma. We have five good front line guys, but it was Horace Spencer once again, the, the veteran, comes in, his effort and his energy, his defense is finished around the basket, and so um, it was. It was really big. Had a couple of big baskets in there and got to the foul line a few times. So I agree, and I thought several guys from the bench were in there when we made our defensive stand, and and that was that was a key in us getting back in the game. Well, I think it's uh, it's obviously been a great series, and uh, you know we're talking. This is the last year of a four-year contract, and we're talking about possibly renewing it. Um, and uh, you know, when I got to Auburn, um, I remember. And, and again, this this may not have been the right thing to do, but I said that UAB UAB was the best basketball program in the state at that time. Um, probably should have said it because I wasn't trying to be critical of Alabama or necessarily critical of us, but I was trying to give UAB the credit. They're, there's a reason why the series is now 11 and 10, because they're, they're a great college basketball program. They always have been. That's a national, that's a nationally recognized program. People at Birmingham understand. I was at Tennessee. I was at Stanford when Gene Bartow was here. I, UAB it travels. It's a, it's a national program. So we great respect for them. What did you think of the NJL? I know didn't play a whole lot. You know, I thought, I thought Dan Joe was terrific leading up to it. And I even think in the first half he had a rebound basket. Um, it's, just, it's just hard to, to with, again, he's not going to get a ton of time. And so moving him back, if he plays a little bit more, somebody's got to play less. And so that chemistry, that dynamic, it just needs to continue to evolve. It's a good problem now. We clearly haven't had our that problem since I've been at Auburn. Do you, I mean, I know the game just in it, but do you feel good about your team going to the road game like NC State, or do you feel like you got a lot of work on it? Well, I think both. I, I think we had a lot of work to do, but you got to feel pretty good about being 9-1, and one, getting a road win, and um, surviving in overtime, and just 
What, what does that say about being able to get a stop or a rebound or make free throws or do things you got to do to win a game like that? So I feel good about that. Your last shot regulation, you seem pretty upset about how that was handled. Well, I, I, I obviously won the ball in Jared's heads. I would have liked for him to take it downhill. I would have liked for him to go to the basket, and he didn't. He settled. So I, I, would, have, I would have liked for him to do that. Um, there were some situations where I could have done a better job myself as well. So um, we did good enough to win. Was, was there any consideration of fouling up three there? There was, but um, there was a lot of they, – they made the shot with about nine seconds. So had Jared made the, the one free throw you missed was that free throw. Had he made the free throw, I was going to call timeout and sort of set the stage for what to do with a four-point lead. Go through the possession, you know, try to build a wall. They're going to probably try to go quick, take it downhill. And then in that situation, inside of nine seconds, eight, foul. And we would have had Jared at the end of overtime not made his second free throw with a three-point lead, we would have fouled in the, in the last position. But he made it up for you don't need to. So there really wasn't a chance to foul because they knocked that three ball down with about nine, ten seconds left to go.